Epilepsy warning. Don't watch this video or play this game if you have epilepsy. With that out of the way, we're going to do easy mode because it has slower uh, music tracks, which would be nice and chill for everybody. Um, although, personally, I feel like... Uh, also, you can't damage your own freighters, which is kind of nice. But uh, mostly, I feel like uh, y'all are going to appreciate the chill vibes. I accidentally hurt myself for no good reason, but it's fine. Also, enemy projectiles are slower, so it'll be much more chill vibes for those of you who like to vibe and hang out. Show all different aspects of the game. Um, we're gonna do, oh, a token magnet, since we're on easy, it shouldn't be too hard to beat these waves. But yeah, we've showed hyper mode on, like, uh, the last video, and we started off on normal. We haven't really showed the easy mode, the chill tracks and the easier difficulty, and we'll show it all off and see what you guys like, and, you know, you can set the pace at your own, like, uh, do 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 set the, set the difficulty at your own preference. I'm not sure you need projectile speed there, but it's easy mode, so we'll be fine, right? But yeah, um... It also occurred to me when I, uh, you know, when I was, like, deciding what I was going to do today for the video here. Um, it occurred to me, a lot of my viewers do prefer, like, more chill vibes from the channel. And, uh, playing games on, like, the hardest difficulty available, not that chill, per se. So maybe, uh, maybe, maybe I'm the guy who doesn't play games on hard difficulty. Maybe I'm the guy who plays games on, like, easy difficulty. I don't know. Just trying to figure out what you guys, uh, actually want to watch, right? So we'll, uh... We'll try it all, and if this video gets way better views than the other ones, then maybe I'll like uh, the chill better. Or maybe I just uh, did a better job of the thumbnail, because my first two thumbnails were not uh, super great for this game. I thought they were good, but, well, they did not get those clicks now, did they? I see you down there, shooting at me. Homing guys are fine. The homing guy are... Ouch! I was too busy focusing on their damage, and uh, ignore the other guy's shot. So the homing guys take a while before they shoot, but when they do start shooting, they still shoot relatively quickly. So you still got to target them down a little bit. There we go. Wave four complete. I will go for, oh, both of these. Token magnet and missile. But yeah, we'll go for a little more chill vibes here, huh? Now I'm going to dash into an attack. Like a smart individual that I am. What if shooting, does shooting their shields make the shield go down faster? Or is like shooting, shooting the shields pointless? I don't even know. Also, there is the whole like you can charge up your thing and then shoot multiple shots at a time for your first burst shot. Not that I worry about that too much, but yeah. I think I might try this video and maybe one more video after it. And if we don't get any, start getting any views on this game, it might go the way of the dodo, which is a shame. I wanted this game to get some uh, views on the channel, get some exposure, because it's actually like pretty darn good. Pierce speed. I finally like the speed. I don't feel like speed is that useful, but it's easy mode, right? Yeah, I feel like this game is actually like really good, and uh, I'd love for it to actually get... Uh, I'd love for people to know about it, but until I figure out the thumbnail game to get people to actually click it. That's, like, it's... The problem is the thumbnail. The, the last few thumbnails I did on it just didn't get the clicks, which is not, a, you know, it's whatever. I can always try changing the thumbnail, but... I like to... Part of my channel strategy is I like to just, like, collect data. Ouch. And I tend to, like, forget things. I'm still taking damage in easy mode, so... Not that easy, I guess. <laughs> oh, I'm barely paying attention, right? Might need to repair soon here. Um... Uh, ooh, fire rate, blaster pierce, sure. But yeah, part of my channel strategy is um, a lot of channels like they only do like one video a day, and if it's a bad thumbnail, they'll quickly change it to a better thumbnail. I don't really do that so much per se. I've done it once or I do it here and there for the most part, not so much. What I prefer to do is I prefer to uh just put out lots of videos, and I'll just I'll leave it up if it has a, a bad thumbnail or a bad title. I'll, I'll just let it get bad views, and what I'll do is I, I periodically I periodically go back over time and just check to see, okay, in the last, you know, three weeks, this video got this many views and this video got that many views. I can tell, uh, fire rate, it helps, it, yeah, we, we will repair, we're low on hit points. It helps me to identify, like, okay, thumbnails that use the, you know, like the face of a person do much better than thumbnails that use uh, a close-up of a, a spaceship on a video game or, you know, whatever, things like that that you figure out. It helps you to... Because if you're constantly changing the thumbnails, well, it's a little bit hard to figure that out, right? Unless you already know what works and what doesn't, in which case, then knock yourself out, right? But those of us who are still learning, it's a different story, right? Mmm... Mmm... Pierce. I think Pierce is pretty good, although... With all these guys that have... I feel like the Pierce isn't... That, ouch! Isn't that useful? With all, the, with all the shielding that they have. There you go. Wish I could actually hit you. Need to actually grab my token. No, I guess they still shoot kind of slow. Excuse me, sir. Appreciate you not do that. Because you're the worst. 
Oh, ye of great hominess. Even on easy mode, the homie guys are still like a nuisance. To be fair, if I was like really focusing, I wouldn't be taking any damage from any of these guys, but well, focusing, we are not. This is a good game to like just chill and have banter to, I think, in easy mode. Mmm, blast your fierce. And uh ship speed. Fine. I'll get blaster charge too, why not? Oh, a lot of homing boys. We are in easy mode. Oh, they're already they're already charging up, I see. Excuse me. Much easier to dodge though. Much easier to dodge. Oh, they're kind of busting up my ship over there. These are kind of to stop that. Oh, it is much more manageable. Listen. Still, honestly, even on easy mode, still engaging and challenging enough that you can't just like you can't just like mentally AFK. You still gotta like focus and dodge a little bit. Even easy mode. I could see some people who aren't like who don't play games much having a hard time on easy mode. Mm, attack pods. Sure. Yeah, if you don't play, if you like barely play games, even easy, I think easy mode would still be like an adequate challenge for you. If you play games a lot, probably won't be too big, too big of a deal. And I see you over there, homing individual. You're waiting to charge up and shoot me. I find it's useful to get like get the homing guys off of one side. That's the play. If they have a unit in front of them, they won't shoot, which is kind of nice. But yeah, we're playing on easy mode. Just to reiterate why it shows this, because uh. Chiller vibes, chiller vibes. As far as like, it will only play chill music tracks, and chiller vibes as in like I'll be chiller because I'm not gonna be stressing out with like the chaos, like really hard difficulty or whatever. And we'll see uh, if you guys like that. Um, can't afford anything, so I'm still trying to figure out precisely what you guys like from the channel. Um, when it comes to territorial IO, I've got a pretty good idea what you guys like. So I've made like you know almost a thousand of those videos, so that's enough data to gather to draw conclusions from, but. Other games, well, still, still working on figuring that, that out. You guys seem to like Neon Sundown. You're enjoying that one. Different song here. You're enjoying the uh, the Neon Sundown, so we're uh, doing more of that. And but so uh, that shows that some people will also watch uh, roguelikes on the channel. So we'll keep dipping into roguelikes because I think roguelikes make for good, easy content. It's actually very convenient, really, because it's very easy to like. Hold on a second, um, missiles, magnet. The nice thing about roguelikes is once you've played the game for like an hour or two, it becomes very easy. Hold on, what's happening up here? What's happening up there? I guess we hit a linked ship or, a ship or something? Um, the nice thing about roguelikes is once you've played the game for a little bit, it becomes, uh, you know, for like an hour or two, whatever, because of like the, you know, the repetitive nature of the games where, like, you do run at the run, but, like, different builds, different strategies, different enemies, because RNG. Um, it's very easy to, like, um, make multiple videos on, on the same game, which you can also do on, like, uh, games that have long playthroughs or whatever, but, um, fire rate. The thing about, uh, the YouTube algorithm, ooh, drone swarm incoming. Should've got more missiles, huh? That's right, I don't have to worry about hitting my ships. This is nice. Oh, yeah, we're just destroying them. Get bodied. Oh, you're not done yet? Oh, I'm missing my tokens. When you destroy one, they like chain hit the other ones. Mmm. Projectile speed, ship speed. What was I saying? I forgot. Got distracted by the drone swarms. Bust these things up and try not to get hit by them. Beautiful. Alright, excuse me, all ye homing individuals there. I need to not get hit by your stuff, but still get the tokens. Be great. Great for us. Great time indeed. Calm down with your homingness. They're like the only real challenge I'm experiencing so far here is these uh, ho uh, homing uh, sniper dudes with three shots. Mmm, attack pods. Who got misses actually? Oh, I see you over there. I like to spawn in the middle and then like quickly move to the side. I keep trying to like. Maybe it's still. A, maybe it's just good to like be in the habit of not shooting the freighters. Don't get accustomed to easy mode, right? Don't want to get in the habit of always trying to shoot the freighters from behind, right? Be dangerous. Could be bad. Up, up my damage here a little bit. Be great. Oops. Let's try to not to walk into bullets. I'm so busy like focusing on where I'm aiming. My eyes are usually like on the top half of the screen, focusing on where I'm shooting, I'm not focusing enough on uh, dodging these guys down here. As you can hear like the tension in my voice as I quick dodge there. Uh, repair ship. Not yet. Blaster charge. Increase the width of the blaster projectile. I mean, making it even wider would not be awful. I don't care about the extra charge shots while I'm shooting. Increase the speed of the blaster projectile. I don't think it matters much, but whatever. Get them both. It's fine. It's easy mode. 
I need to be hyper efficient here. I feel like the speed is that big of a deal, so oh, it helps to up the fire rate. Oh, watch out for that, huh? Let's deal with you. Your brethren are not desired over here. Oh, okay, just damage, I guess. And, oh, alright, more damage. Alright, guess we need to heal soon, huh? Even on easy, it can be a challenge, I see. Let's see. Let's talk about something earlier. I wish I could remember what it was, but it is gone forever. It's gone forever. Oh well. Got distracted by the, by the drone swarm, I believe it was. Where the meteoroids at? Oh, maybe on easy there is no meteoroids. Oh, more damage there, huh? Oh, about to lose, actually. <laughs> I need to repair. Yes. That's me for you. Almost lose on the easy mode. Get out of there, get out of there. I guess you're supposed to, like, not shoot when they're shielded up and just charge your shots, but I'm constantly shooting them, constantly shooting missiles out. Homing missiles out, right? Which is good. These big, beefy, shieldy boys are... Got the shield and the, the beefy boys protecting the shields. It's problematic. It's like a very protect-yourself kind of wave on their, on their regard, huh? There we go. Oh, so easily we destroy you. Oh, it was something about, like, roguelikes I was saying, about, like, how roguelikes are... Oh, yeah, because, um, roguelikes are good for the channel, or in YouTube in general, because, um, the YouTube algorithm, it likes to be able to show you a video on its own without any context. They don't want to have to, like, oh, in order for you, in order for you to enjoy this video, you need to, you have to watch the two before it. It doesn't like that. What it likes is be able to, like, pick a random video and show it to anybody and have it get clicks and views, and... They don't have to, like, go back and watch another one first or anything like that. That's just how it works. And with the nice thing about roguelikes is you don't really ever need to see anything before it. Let's see, um... Fire rate. The nice thing about roguelikes is, you know, the way the games... The way roguelikes are designed is you don't really need to, uh... Give me the token. You don't really need to have seen any of the previous runs or playthrough. I could play this game for... 200 hours, put out 200 or 400 videos, depending on how long they are, and then somebody can see episode 401 for the very first time, and uh, still get, um, and still understand just fine what's going on. And, uh, you know, no, no big deal. You don't need to watch them in order. You don't need to watch every single one before it. It's just, by the nature of roguelikes, you, you can just pick it up as you go. Um, Blaster Charge, I guess. And that's why getting roguelikes on that channel would be pretty nice. It's it's the same it's the same concept as my territorial IO videos. It's actually really nice just doing banter while playing this game absentmindedly. I kinda like it. Um The thing about um Territorial IO is this ultimately at this at the end of the day I'm just playing the same game again and again and again. Um let's do oh token magnet, just in case. Um like with my territorial, territorial IO videos, at the end of the day, I'm really just playing the same game over and over and over and over again. But you guys enjoy it, and also there's just new, you know new people always come in, and if people get bored, they take a break and come back months later to the latest video and just miss out a few months' of videos. But at the end of the day, eh, it's just kind of the same stuff again and again, so they're not worried about too much, right? Get these guys out of here. And so like games where you can just like do the same thing again and again, but slightly different every single time, like different commentary, you know, in Territorial I.O., different opponents and roguelikes, different RNG of enemies and different builds and strategies. Um, it allows for a lot of, like, being able to recycle the same game for multiple episodes. It varies. Some games, you, you know, some roguelikes you might get only just one one episode out because people weren't into it. Some might get might get two or three videos. I shouldn't say episodes, three videos. You know, some roguelikes might get, might get you one video if it's not popular enough. Some might get like two or three. Some might get, you know, 20 videos or 100 tech pods. Um, what you're what you're really looking for is that one roguelike that's going to get you for like 100, um, 100 episodes or videos plus. It's kind of a tough level here, actually. Get yourself 100 videos plus. I think that like beep, 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 beep sound effect is me shooting my uh, the back of my ship trying to like tell you. Yeah, you're not supposed to do that. It's not damaging it, but it's letting you know, hey, this is kind of nice not hurting your ships. I need you guys to stop shooting that. It'd be great. Oh, damage there. I'm trying to avoid them hurting my ships too much here. They're kind of like wrecking me here. I need you to like stop shooting at this. It's this, this, this big guy that's breaking it. It's you. Let me see how some tokens here. If you, if you could. Oh, unlucky. Alright, well, let's not 
to be honest, the ones in the middle are just more of a hassle anyways. She'd been locked half time. Ooh, nice. What's that? Just curious what that says. That is a uh, reach wave 20. Okay. Simple enough. All right. Resume. Oh, wait. There's a self-destruct option. Okay. Oops. Oh, I guess I waited too long. Didn't pick my, didn't pick my upgrades, huh? Oh, well. Well, that was visually satisfying. Maybe you did not break my uh, ship over here. So let's work on this side first. Ouch. Stop taking damage. CG. Silly boy, pay attention. But yeah, roguelike games just lend themselves really nicely to um, what I'm trying to do with the channel. I'm, I'm not trying to like play a brand new game every single day. Well, sometimes it does happen. It does happen to work out that way. I'm trying to like put good games on the channel, and good games don't come out every single day. Although games come out much more frequently than they used to, so it's, it's getting to the point where like there's a decent rate of frequency that you know games come out, but not every single day. So we want some like recyclability of content is what we're really looking for. In the spread. Honestly, I think the spread shot might be a better ship, but I want to use the Pulse Blaster ship this time. If we get a lot of tokens to upgrade our ships, we need like better ship generation or better max hit points for these freighters, because even on easy mode, we're still losing them for wave 20, which is kind of rough, right? These these like AOE bombers are like the really tough boys down there for us. Let's get bust your little energy out of here. There we go. These little guys scooting around, huh? Bought tokens, so uh, let's do fire rate. And I'm not gonna repair you, I got half health. Alright, so what was I talking about? Oh, I was talking about like, just, I guess, channel stuff that probably most people don't care about, but I don't really know what to talk about. You talk about what you think about, right? And, well, what I think about the most is just channel stuff or the game itself. But right now, I got the, uh, I'm kind of on like mental autopilot on the game here, really. I should not be standing next to this one because I'm just like leading the their shots into it and what what happened what killed me all right fine all right um what's this one do uh oh we got no yeah there's no meteoroids there's no like oh on easy mode there's no meteoroids there's no like transport ships okay um I, i'm the one that died there i can't get more health we could get to uh, regenerate their health faster might be good um i have 313 i can just get uh increase the recharge speed of the shield i taking a hit yeah let's get that Achievement unlocked, can't touch this. Upgrade the freighter shield to level 5, okay. Oh, I turn off the music by doing that. Do I want to add, add an energy beam to them? Um, it makes it hard to get the tokens, so I'm going to say no. Alright, uh, go again. Actually, no, I want to switch ships. Let's go to the main menu. Uh, I said, go to the main menu. I, could, I don't like when people put yes on the left. I feel like yes will be on the right-hand side. Maybe I'm crazy that way. We're going to do um, different ship this time. Spread Shot. I think I like Spread Shot better. Is that? Yeah, I like... Yeah, it's... The Pierce is nice, but the Spread is good. Should still be an easy, I believe. Feels like it. And change the setting, it doesn't... Yeah. It's just easier to hit them, like, because your, your freighters are in the way. In a game where you have, like, these things blocking your shots, the Spread Shot is good. If, it wasn't, if the freighters weren't in the way, I, I would probably prefer, like, the Pulse Boys, but with the freighters constantly being, like, blocking my shots, it's definitely high value to not have these, uh, be able to, like, you know, I can shoot them at an angle and hit them from the side, right? And you do have some, like, attack pods. Like, the green shots are your attack... The green lasers are your attack pods on the side, so you're the, bl you're the blue boys. Uh, fire rates. Should have got a token magnet. So yeah, so I'm, I'm the blue boys and the green boys are my attack pods. This is pretty neat. I'm not sure to talk about at this point. Just kind of chilling, vibing, hanging out. Not worried about it. I'm pretty good at keeping like a random stream of consciousness, consciousness going. Basically talking without saying anything meaningful at any points. Just kind of filling the dead air with the sound of my voice over and over again. Because well, some people seem to like that for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, yes, more shot em is good, and I want some token magnets. And, uh, yeah, let's make it spreadier. But yeah, um, I would love to see if I get this game going on the channel. I, I, I love, I'd love to at least, at least get, like, one video on this game to get, like, you know, 2,000 plus views or something at this point. You know, it would be good enough that way, at least. I want, I want some people, I want people to see this game and, like, know it exists, and... The first two videos I've done on this because the thumbnails just apparently weren't jiving with you guys. Can you get you to click on it for the most part? Um, didn't get that many views, and uh, a couple hundred, or less than a thousand views each within the first few days is not that many people learning about it, right? 
Oh, uh, speed, bullet speed, uh, shot him out. Takes, yeah, let's go for all the why not. I'm not sure the bullet speed upgrade matters much. Maybe it does, I don't know. Oop, almost ran into that for no good reason. See how, see, that's why I like the spread. While I'm here getting my tokens, I'm still shooting and damaging the guys on the side because of the spread. If I was the pulse blaster shooting straight forward, while I was waiting to grab those tokens, I wouldn't have been shooting anything. So, and the more, that, that would, it's like the Pulse Blaster gives them more time to shoot your freighters while you're uh, waiting to grab the tokens to shooting straight forward. I guess the homing helps a little bit, but the homing missiles helps a little bit here and there, but it's not enough. Uh, fire rates seems good. More shots per second. There we go. Yeah, just the spread just seems to be the vastly superior ship of choice. You're really shooting my uh, freighter there, huh? Almost got hit there. Sloppy, sloppy. Get this side done. If you clear on one side, the other side will, like, Stop going halfway to the middle and then back to the edge. It'll keep going all the way across the end, which makes it a little bit easier to get into you. If your freighters don't get bodied in the meantime. There we go. Mmm. Bullet speed, missiles, and a uh, salvo spread. Not sure how much spread you need, but like the more the, mer the merrier, right? Look at that spread. It's beautiful. It's a thing of beauty. I can just kind of chill in the middle and let it go crazy. Don't you shoot my. Don't you break my freighter over there. See what you're doing, I don't appreciate it, but I got a token here I need. I want like insane magnet value. Wish the magnet value is a little bit cheaper. Kind of nice, expensive to get, right? Mmm, token magnets, missiles. There's all damage just number one priority. I still don't feel like bolt speed that useful. Maybe it is, though, I don't know. I guess you're like, I guess you're like trying to time your attacks or whatever, maybe? Who knows? I need you guys to. Uh, I need more magnet power, I think. My magnet power might be a little bit on the lacking side. That shield guy, get him. Nah, armor. All right, get these guys in, I guess. Get them over here, thank you. Please just stop uh, trying to bully me. It's unappreciated. Mmm, attack pods. A little more of like the straight in front of me damage increase, right? Ooh, that's some Pullman boys up in here, huh? Awesome, this is a great song. I like this one. And yeah, it's just a good time. Yeah, I, I really enjoy the... I think I really enjoy the... Uh, the chill mode better than like the hyper mode as far as like me just wanting to enjoy the game it actually feels honestly challenging enough um it's not like crazy challenging but like you do have to pay attention a little bit shot to mounts token magnet it's good no damage yet that's good but yeah it's uh re i feel like it requires um it still requires enough it's like it's it's not like it's not so easy that you could just like afk and win it's not you like your grandma's not gonna dominate the easy mode unless your grandma just plays a lot of video games. Most people's grandmas <laughs> are not gonna are not gonna get very far on easy mode. They're gonna get got by these uh, homing ones shooting the triple shots at you unless your grandma happens to be a gamer. Most grandmas just aren't gamers, which is why I use the example. My grandma will not do well at this game. My grandma would probably die when the, within the first few waves. Well, if she practiced, maybe she'd get good, get good. Who knows? But generally speaking, what I'm just trying to say it's like it's it's. There's enough of a challenge that if you're not careful, you can lose, like I did on like wave 20 something, on easy mode. E even with having some upgrades. So even in easy mode, it's still, you know, good enough to have a fun experience. And it's actually really chill and vibe and it's a nice relaxing way to pass some time. You know, nice uh, method of shot amount. Yes. Attack pause, yes. Well, I do want that token magnet too. It's pretty good, I'd say. I'd say it's about right if you're looking to chill. If you're looking for, like, a lot of action, a lot of challenge, yeah, you're gonna want to up the difficulty a little bit, but if you just want to vibe after work or after studying and want something not too hard, but still, like, this 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 way is just, like, free. Something that's, like, mentally stimulating enough to keep you engaged. It's, like, more mental stimulation than watching a TV show or YouTube or whatever. Uh, or TikTok, I guess, if you watch that. I don't really watch TikTok. I don't really watch TikTok. I want it to, like, uh, go for missiles. Mm, let's give them that. Nothing against TikTok. I watch it every once in a while, but it's just uh, I'm not I'm not looking. Ten second videos, like just watching a ten second video, another ten second video, another ten second video. Like I'm I'm just worried that's gonna destroy my attention span to the point where like I have nothing left. You know. Um, shut them out. Yes. I'm sure like every every form of media entertainment. Other than like reading a book is also gonna like destroy your attention expand attention span to a certain amount, but like I'm okay with that as long as it's like not too bad, like you know, 
a 30 minute long YouTube video is not going to destroy my attention span to the point where I can't function in life. But if I spend two hours a day watching TikToks, 10 minute, 10 second long videos, um, bullet speed, bullet, uh, salvo spread. If I spend like two hours a day watching, you know, I spend, cause I spend like two hours a day watching YouTube easily. Um, which probably isn't the best for my attention span, but yeah, it's not that bad. Like I, I've been watching YouTube for like, like I've been watching YouTube for probably two hours a day for years now. Oh, first bit of damage. Whoops. And I still, like, I still function in life just fine. So watching YouTube for a couple hours a day is not going to, like, destroy your attention span. Assuming you're watching, like, if you're, you're, it depends what part of YouTube I watch. There's parts of YouTube, like, YouTube Shorts is the same thing as TikTok, basically. Fire, right? I guess if you watch YouTube Shorts for two hours a day, it'll have the same effect as watching TikTok two hours a day. Just destroy your attention span, but, you know, it won't be too bad. I feel like standing here too long is bad because they all snipe that one freighter. So maybe, like, quick, oh, but there's tokens over here. I need you to not destroy this freighter. Yeah, that's the problem is these homing guys, like, they're trying to hit you, but you hit your freighter instead, which is no bueno. No good. Please chill my freighters, if you'd be so kind. Maybe it's better to, like, stay in the middle a little bit. But you gotta, like, get over here to hit them, though. Especially if you're using the other ship. Alright. I got greedy for the token, got hit instead. It's fine. Chill, my dude. Oh, how did that one... Where that one? It must have been a linked thing. I'm not sure I love the linked feature where if you destroy some, others get destroyed. Um... Like, it's neat in concept, but the biggest problem is what'll happen is, like, I'll be shooting people on the right. Me oh, you do get meteoroids, just much less frequently. There we go. See, this is why you need the spread guy. Good luck hitting... This is why I need to... Ew, this is on easy mode. I think there's... I think that's still bugged, honestly, because this is... This is still pretty quick. I feel like it's still a little bit bugged. Also, my biggest gr gripe with the meteoroid... When the meteorites line up perfectly in front of the freighter, how am I supposed to shoot them? Like... Like, if it's, if it's slightly to the side, I feel like the meteorites should always be slightly to the side of the freighter, because if they're perfectly lined up in front of them, it gets very difficult to shoot them, especially with the Pulse guy, because, um, you need to get, like, right underneath here to shoot, like this one. Alright, it's, okay, it's a little bit to the side. But if it's dead on, the only way to shoot it, like, they're straight on lasers, um, can't put any of that, is to be, like, right behind your ship, which you can't do, because you hit your ship. Even on easy mode, you're, like, you won't hit it, but it'll be, like, protected. I need you to... Stop all this nonsense, okay? Just carefully dodging all this. Excuse me, sir. Easy. All right, I think we got him. I was just so busy folks on like dodging. I was like, oh, it's helping over the loss over there, huh? But yeah, the one. My biggest gripe with the the linked ships is um, well, sometimes you destroy a linked ship on the left side, and it goes and takes out the uh, a, a ship on the right that's too far away for you to get that token they drop. And I don't like that. I don't like, uh, I want to I want to get every, like, the gamer in me wants to pick up every single token and not miss anything to, like, min-max and play the game optimally. And when you just accidentally, I guess, maybe that's, like, a part of the game as well, is, like, get good and be like, okay, th this this ship is linked. I need to not attack this this ship right now or we'll destroy a ship on the other side. Which I guess could work, but I feel like people who are trying to play this game on casual easy mode are really going to be interested in that. Maybe you could, like, turn off linked ships on easy mode or... Honestly, the, the simplest fix would be make it so that linked ships uh, don't drop tokens. Kind of thing like that, you know? Um, token magnet. Have it so that, like, okay, each wave, these units will be the ones that have the tokens, and they'll never be linked. And the ones that do get tokens, well, they will link um, elsewhere, right? I think that'd be good. Or so something like that, right? Sorry, I, I didn't word that very well because it's kind of like trying to like play the level properly, slightly harder, slightly harder wave, really. Yeah, just make sure the linked ships don't drop tokens. There you go, problem solved. Um, mm, bullet speed, subtle spread. Might be good, yeah. Also, I'm sure my like spread is probably like, might be causing a little bit of it, but not as much. Okay, let's get over here. Yeah, so you missed a token over there to the right, but that might have been because my spread hit somewhere over there with a homing missile. I just don't want to miss tokens. Maybe just don't be so greedy. That sh that uh, freighter is getting busted. I need more max hit points. These freighters, I think, would be good. I think honestly, just staying in the middle might solve part of my problem. These guys, when there's snipers on both sides, it's like you don't want to be. In this, now that there's only snipers on the right side, it's fine. But like, you don't want to be in, in this area right here. Otherwise, you're two ships in the middle. The ship right here. Like if there's if there's snipers over here, you know. And, like, if there's snipers over here, and I'm fighting over here, these snipers hit this freighter there. 
if I'm over here in this part here and there's snipers right here and they're hitting this ship uh, there. So when there's snipers on both sides, you know, the triple shot dudes, um, you want, you kind of want to chill in the middle as the spread guy. I think oh, I lost my multiplier because I, uh, I stopped shooting for so long. That's yeah, fine. I'm not really worried about the score. I'm not worried about that at all. Oops, that's uh, me not dodging that quite properly well enough. You take out these big explodey boys in the middle. Excuse me. Yeah, sometimes. All right, that's that's just on me. I'm trying to like get grief for staying in the middle and a little, a little bodied for doing so. Can't spend too long here because then they'll destroy this ship. So I'll come back over here and let the homing shots do a little bit. See this? I can't chill here for too long. That ship's gonna get bodied. I got yeah. It's it's tricky. I guess that's where the challenge comes in. There we go. If you stop. Plus, you got my ships. Also, if I max out my... I imagine once I max out my freighters, like, hit points and regeneration and stuff, it'll be better. Um, maybe I do repair here. And, uh, maybe attack pods. I think we're probably gonna spread for now, right? Yeah, because, look, these things are still, like, toasty and burning after that last wave. There we go. Drone group eliminated. No, 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 no. Oh, my ace. No. My ace, no. So the trick is you gotta eliminate the first drone group and then, like... Yeah, we missed our ace. Oh, well. Um, you beat the first drone group, then, like, they chain reaction to everything else. That's usually satisfying. Um, so I'll shoot from here for a little bit. Those snipers, though, so now I can go over here. It's the snipers on, snipers on the outside, both outsides. That's the problem, boy. Need to take this guy out for the... Oh, these guys are damaging my side, boys. They're, sh they're so well shielded, though. This is where the spread's a little suboptimal here, I think. Yeah, this is... Now this is where the, the, you do want them links, just because they're gonna break my ship over there if I don't take these guys out fast enough. Come on, let's only have a link. All right, come on, get him out of here. I need you guys to stop busting up my ship. I need you to ease up on this run, my boy. It's this big AOE guy that's a problem for wrecking my freighters. Maybe that took down my shield. I'm gonna hit him again. All right, yeah. Enemy link broken. Okay. This this one ship second from the left is having the hardest time. Most of my runs here. Shot him out, absolutely. I want that. Anything up my DPS because we're starting to fall behind a little bit. Oh my god. You're absolutely joking with this. Chill up here for a bit. Let me get some of these guys out of here. I need to get away from this one so it stops getting shot quite so much. I'm about to get that thing destroyed. That would be bad. That would be very bad. I need to take you guys out here. Maybe I just need to be like even farther. Maybe that's the. I don't know. It still got. It still got shot. Maybe I need to be like on the very far right hand side. I don't know. Maybe not. Might not be avoidable. Salvo spread. No, I want to save up for like more damage for falling behind damage. What if I just start off over here in case there's snipers, right? Maybe that's the smarter call. I don't know. Maybe it is smart. Just like the quick dip to a side. Do with one side at a time first, right? All right. Took some damage there. Thought we'd be fine. I was wrong. All right. Got that guy dealt with. Guys doing damage in the middle aren't a big deal for us. They are kind of blocking my movement a little bit. I need you guys to cease and desist. Alright, so we were not safe there. Let's just let those guys chill out over there. I need you to stop damaging my ships. You be so kind. Thank you. There we go. Alright, we're doing a little bit better here. My freighters are still alive. I can still hang out and jive. Oh, see what I did there? I don't know what my commentary is, but we're hanging out there. Beautiful. Um, shot him out. Ye yes. Quick over here. Drone swarm. Should we didn't come in? Wrong way. I need to take out this one so they chain react with the other ones. You get that first chain reaction, you're pretty much good, right? Yeah. That's the trick. The drone swarms. Start the chain reaction. Toss off the occasional shot. Get the first group and you're good. I almost need, I almost need more magnets. Uh, damage. Uh, I need more. I need. I'm gonna save for damage. I need damage badly. Yeah, maybe the trick is to like start up over here. My, oh, I got like a. Oh, we got a fire. We got a fire rate boost from the drone. Is there any new enemies attacking? What's going on here? We got a damage. I missed a token. We got a damage boost attack upgrade thing from the drone swarm, which is helping out a lot. Oh, there, oh, there's bombs up there. I was like, what are these like red lines coming down at me? There's bombs that I didn't notice up there. That's. What, that's those lines were, yep. I was like, what are these red lines coming at me so quickly? The bombs, CG, they were the bombs. Um, uh, fire rate, yes. 
Uh, and attack pods. We are we are wealthy there, huh? Oh my god. Oh, this is a nasty wave here. He's on the side off of here. And just, oh, oh, nope. Calm it down. Missing, missing tokens. Alright, he just... Oh boy, this is not an easy wave, huh? Oh, damage, okay. Let's see how it is. Listen, listen, listen. We can, we can talk about this. I have to scratch my nose there. Alright, not bad. We almost lost that freighter. Suboptimal. Maybe I go to the right next time? I mean, honestly, they're both in trouble. Uh, repair ship, not yet. Save money. Go to the right this time. Look, the right's less damaged. Got some homing voice in the middle, actually, which means we don't need to be in the outsides. Might be better to just chill here. Oh my god, it's like, it's the... Oh, there. Might be the end of these middle ones. I've, I've saved you for so long, but there's only so much a man can do. To reserve you from the damage. Here, oh, I think they're about done. I'm also shooting at nothing. It's this guy right here is the one messing up my boy. The big damage dealer. Alright. Chill. Let the homing missiles do something. I just need to keep them from not... Sh I just need them not shoot my freighters in the... Right, maybe do this. Yeah, see, this is the problem. Just shooting the shield. Ouch. No, no, don't shoot it. Don't shoot it. Alright, crap. I'm just gonna chill here. Let the... Just keep them shooting towards me in the middle here if I can. Ouch. Taking damage, but... Oh, no, no, no. Not there. Not there. Not there. Oh, boy. It's tough. It's tough. We should have gone to the sides, actually. A lot of damage there. Um... Pop my missiles, actually. And, uh... No. Alright, go to the right first. Yeah, I see. Uh, there's all kinds of homing boys on this side. Wreck these homing guys here before they really get us. Get them all. I need these guys on the side gone. Before things get dicey. Oh, that freighter's about to bite the dust. Forget the tokens. They're not worth losing a freighter for. Shoot over here, guys. Shoot over here. I can stop getting greedy for every single token when it's costing me actual freighters. No freighter losses today. Be so kind. I'm not shooting my own boys here. There we go. I think, I think on the sides is the strat. I need to repair. No dice. Um, fire rate. Nope, not bolt speed. Go to the right this time, although you're in trouble too. Drone swarm. Which way? Just, you go to the right first, okay? Does it always go to the right, to the right first? I don't even know. Get that chain reaction going and we're kind of good. There we are, yep. I'm not going to get that one to the right. It's too far away. I don't think even max token getting would have gotten that for me, right? That ace is going to help a repair ship. Yes, I'll take it. It's over here. There we go. That's sick fire eight. There we go. There, yeah, that'll help a lot. That's a crazy wave. I'm just going to miss some tokens here. I'm just trying to, like, not lose any more ships. I'll miss some tokens. It's fine. There we go. They'll be fine. We will, uh, token magnets. Ship speed. All good. Over here. I still got my attack speed boost. No, it ran out. We did have it. Check these. Alright, uh, got the big explody guy out of there. Right, beat that in this token. Should get greedy for it though. Don't you destroy my ship. Don't you do it. Dirty. No, don't you leave my ship alone. This guy's gonna take it out next. But these guys as well. No. Good damage there. Whew. Getting dicey. More missiles, I'll take it. Uh, to the right, I think. Oh boy, huh? Oh boy, indeed. Get them out of here. The shields blocked that for a little bit. Oh my god, they're popping. Bust that boy up. We need to be a farther, even farther to the right, maybe. All right, damage there. Whatever. Um, I'm gonna find the damage. I can, I can pay money to fix the damage. Just sweet, sweet token currency. Maybe we need to be even f like all the way to the right. Maybe all the way to the right is the way to be. That way, uh, they'll stop shooting that middle freighter. Salvo spread might actually help with being all the way to the side here. All right. Okay, perhaps not as useful as I thought. Maybe like right here. Just gonna reduce the number of hitting my uh, my boy. Or be, be here when they shoot, then switch over here. Maybe. Oh god, no! It's just yeah. I think it's just going regardless. Be in the middle. The middle works too. I remember that. Yeah. To an extent. Be more right over here. I need you to chill out a little bit. Come on, guys. Some of these waves are like brutal. Just need like take out my freighters to be honest. I'm taking too much damage here. I see my freighters. I'm dying in the process. I'm out of here. Getting dicey. Hmm. Fire rate, yes, please. All right, over here this time. Get a couple of snipey ones on the sides over here. All right. Oh no, they're doing. All right. Well, it's honestly probably like a blessing in disguise, right? 
I don't have to worry about it. Probably better just like intentionally let them die and just not even worry about it. Stop damaging yourself for ships that really serve no useful purpose other than to like block shots and make life harder, right? Bullet speed and I'll save. Now I can just do I can start over here every time and Oh, it's so much easier. I honestly think it's like your best strategy is to like intentionally destroy the two in the middle. It's so much easier. We'll skip that one from there. That's far away, I feel. This one no one got. Give me all this. Beautiful. Hmm. Shut him out. Yes, please. Doing great. You know. Ooh, get body boys. Get bodied. Oh, give me this. Get them all. Give me, give me. Oh, man, that's. They're really upping the difficulty of the waves here, it looks like. I see. I see what you're doing. I don't fully approve or appreciate. If we lose that one there, it's also lost you. It's just going to make life easier if these two middle ships are not there, really. Just be rid of them. Uh, Ship speed, no. No need. Be like right here. We got some bombs there, huh? I see. I see the bombitude. There's a lot on my screen right now. It's fine. Get these guys out of here. All right, doing great. Man, yeah, even on easy, it actually gets decently challenging. I should wait so you guys aren't like in front of my freighter. You know, blow it up. There we go. Repair would be nice. Take that. Um, I'll take a token magnet. Some are slipping pa past us here and there. What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? You want to shoot me over here? So rude. Gonna avoid all this. Try and not die. Try and survive the pain. My proverbial membrane. That's what I choose to do. Get the tokens, avoid the shots. The, I'm like barely paying attention to what I'm shooting. Mostly focus on get tokens, don't get hit by shots. That's. I don't want them shooting towards my ship. I want them to shoot this way. These. these ah, damn. I wish. I really, really wish. You could like dodge roll through the shots. Like invulnerability frames would be sick. I feel how crazy it gets. Just being able to like dodge through a, a shot that's right on top of you. I really like that. Um More more spread, sure. Sounds good. I scratch my face there. Hello, unfriendly creatures of the night. Not sure why you hate us so much and why you're so, like I feel like what is in these freighters that's so valuable that they're sending so very many people to try and get them from us like really like surely at this point you have to like this is it like a sunk cost fallacy we're like oh there's a million credits in these ships but we've lost 10 million credits uh, worth of uh, resources trying to get that million credits but it's like no the, the general's like no we will have these resources they will be ours yeah, you know, we've already spent this much. We can't stop now. Hmm. I'll do bolt speed and ship speed. Why not? Yeah, my ship's a little bit more repaired. Does it, I, I, I feel like that ship definitely needs. To, I need to. The next upgrade I need to buy is like the one that helps you like repair the ships faster, the freighters, because they are on the struggle bus repair. Although having, I think having at least one of the middle ones gone makes it significantly easier. Like you can intentionally destroy one of the two middle ones just to like have an easier time of things be a wise stratagem. It just makes much mostly just because these 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 long range sniping guys. I need to like man, you guys are firing fast. Well it's because there's four of them shooting at me in a diagonal. That's why they're like constantly firing. I'm like, man, can't get a break to get over there. There's four of them shooting on a diagonal line, that's why. If there's something blocking they don't shoot. They'll shoot past their own homing guys? Or maybe just one guy was turbocharged? I don't know. It's getting expensive up in here, huh? Inflation, man. It's terrible. Alright, meteoroids. I still feel like the meteoroids. Ooh, that's a big one. They get bigger as the, the waves go on, I guess, right? This one, two here, I see. I like it. There we go. You can actually shoot them a little bit off screen, so keeping shooting constantly is probably pretty good. Yeah, they like tend to move around as you shoot them, too. There we go. I feel like the meteoroid waves are cool, but there's definitely a little bit more tweaking and developing needs to do to get perfect. Although this wave's been pretty good. I think maybe once you have like the spread shots. Doesn't really matter too much, but there's definitely some issues where, like, some waves early on, especially as the Pulse Blaster guy, like, you could, it feels like you can do nothing to stop them. Ace, you can't get an ace on meteorites, okay. Um, fire eight, yes, please. You want to uh, enjoy the pain? Oops, should have 
position myself better for those bombs before I did that. Took damage, but whatever. Felt good, right? To destroyulate all of these guys so very, very effectively. There we are. What well, the bombs hurt their own ships? I don't know. I don't pay enough attention. I guess you could, like, rewind and look back next time you see a bomb. There's not too much going on the screen, right? Probably easier to tell than earlier waves. Can't afford anything, okay. Oh, I see. Um, maybe. Might have done some damage to him. There we go. I see. Trouble. Oh. Tough boys up in here, huh? I think you're so tough. I'm just one amazing ship. I'm using your money to make my ship stronger. Whoever is in charge of this enemy army is just like the worst general, you know, commander that's ever existed. Like, just doesn't have any regard for the lives of their enemies. Unless they're drone ships. In which case, they don't have any regard for, like, resources. Um... More missiles? Stronger missiles or whatever? Who are the, whoever's in charge of this... I'm gonna, I'm gonna pretend it's a drone army. Now I'm not murdering hundreds of people. Although, to be fair, like, they're the ones who started it, right? I'm just trying to protect corporators. I mean, I'm assuming we're the good guys here. What if we're not? What if we're, like, criminals? Ouch, damage. What if we're, like, criminals who are, like, stealing from hard-working citizens and using them to, you know, fund some illegal, illicit activities and, you know, like, we're, we're actually the bad guys here and these are, like, the good guys trying to stop us. That'd be more interesting in that case, actually, right? That freighter is still having a hard time. It's because these big... It's because these guys that shoot the big, like, AOE explosions are kind of... kind of busting them up, really. Still hanging in there, though. Poor little thing. I'm having a hard time. Wave 40 complete. Attack pods. I will enjoy some attack pods. <gasps> There's a boss wave? I didn't even know! I didn't even... Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. You're joking. It's in... Oh my god. I, I don't die here. I don't die here. I do not die the boss. So I was a little hit points. I didn't realize there was going to be a boss in this. It changes everything. So we're kind of doing pretty well against it. The song's kind of lit. Alright, we're doing alright here. Error, error. I'm worried about what's... Oh, he's, sh he's shooting, like, torpedoes, too. I've seen three attacks so far. The torpedoes look scary. He's got torpedoes. I feel like Spread's really good against this guy. Alright, this is sick. The music's very hype all of a sudden. So much for the chill vibes. We're hyped now. I guess it's a boss fight. Even on the easy mode, we're gonna have some hype. Alright. Feels easier than some of the waves, but I'm also, like, super strong, right? Oh, God, nothing's far. No! I, 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 was as, I was as far left as I could go! There is no dodging that. I just need to be more to the right. Oh, that's really cool, though. You can get to the boss. That's awesome. Upgrades there. Um, attempt to give myself more health. What I really need is the auto repair to be better. Um, also, I need them to have more max health. More max health, auto repair. It's still back there attacking, by the way. Really cool. I need you guys to repair yourselves much more after each wave, and more max health, also good. And, uh, yeah, that seems fine there. All right, um, I guess that's where we're going to wrap up the video. Um... Hopefully, people actually watch and enjoy this video. Although, this, this might be the last uh, video. We'll see. Smash that like button if you like Beat Invaders and you want to see more of it on this channel. Let's go.